welcome to Chris Cook for You Too. I am wearing one of my shirts today. Chris Cook for You Too. Southern cooking at its best. There's a lot of different designs on my website. Go over and check it out. ChrisCookForYouTube.net And get one of my shirts because we're a team. Now, today I'm going to be cooking another side dish that's easy to make, but you're going to make it with leftovers. I told you. Everything that we cook, don't be real quick to throw out your leftovers because you can take your leftovers and you can make another meal out of it. Today, I'm going to be doing a tomato corn pudding, okay? So it's just a twist on that corn pudding, and I'm going to be using, I had some leftover hot dog hamburger buns and some bread ends that I had in my refrigerator. So I'm going to go away and cube those up and we're going to put it all in a dish that's going to be a great side dish. And I think your children will love it and they will be getting vegetables. <laughs> so here we go. Let's go with the uh, ingredients that you're going to need. I'm going to use three cans of diced tomatoes, one can of corn, one cup of brown sugar, one stick of melted butter and I'm going to cube up these pieces of bread that I have and these with my leftover bread. Just put yours in the freezer and freeze it and then when you need a side dish you can go and pop it out, cube it up, go ahead and make you a fantastic and delicious side dish. So I'm going to go away and I'll be right back and while you're away set your oven at 350 degrees and butter you a baking dish. Be right back. Okay, now I'm back and I just wanted to show you this. I had a sub roll. It was old too and all I did was just cubed it up. See, like that. And then I'm going to put it in with the rest of the bread. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour my butter all over the top of this bread because I want my butter to soak in. Now, once I do that, I'm going to set my bowl to the side and then I'm going to mix up my tomatoes. And I have three cans of tomatoes over here. And these are diced tomatoes. So I'm going to take my tomatoes, all three cans. And I have one can of corn. And I have my brown sugar. So I'm going to mix all of this up. Okay. And once I mix all of my ingredients up, yeah. this is my corn and my tomatoes. I'm pouring it all. Now, I did not pour the juices out because you need that liquid, okay? So you need the liquid because that's going to help to make this real, real good, real scrump delicious. <laughs> okay, so we put that in and we stir it in. Now, once you get all of this blended up together, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to pour it over the top of your bread and you're going to allow it to sit for 30 minutes. Only 30 minutes. Then once it sits for 30 minutes, you're going to pour it in your butter dish, which I'll bring you back after the 30 minutes. Because what it has to do is it has to absorb the bread. So it has to get real mushy-like, okay? So, you're going to pour this in over your bread. See how that looks? Okay, once you pour it over your bread, you'll mix it just a little bit. And then you're going to allow it to sit here until it soaks up that bread, about 30 minutes. Now, make certain that your oven is preheated at 350 degrees and your dish is buttered. So, once this has sat here for 30 minutes, I'll bring you right back and show you what it looks like. But this is a very, very good side dish, and you will love it, and your family will love it as well. I'll be right back. Okay, now I'm back, and I'm getting ready to pour it up. Look at how much juice is left. You can see the juice in the bottom. Okay, but I think I need a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and add another can of tomatoes. Now, you don't have to do that, but I'll put it down, uh, add one can more. When I put in the instruction, I'll put in, or the recipe... I'll put down, add one can more tomatoes if you feel it's not soupy or juicy enough, okay? So now we're going to pour this into my bowl or my uh, 
my butter dish. All right. Now, once I get this all poured in my butter dish, I'm going to even it out. And then I'm going to bake it 30 to 40 minutes in a 350 degree oven. I'll bring it back, show you what it looks like. But I guarantee you, your family will enjoy it. If you tried it, I have some fried chicken over there. And I'm going to serve this with it. So I'll bring you back as soon as this cooks up. Be right Okay, back. now I'm back. And it's ready. Ah. And there you have it. It's still bubbling, still hot. I'm going to wait a few minutes before I take it out. But there you have it. The tomato and corn pudding. Okay, just want to bring you something simple and easy. We got a long way to go with being in the house. And these meals will really come in handy when you're trying to stretch that grocery that you have. So try this. I think your whole family is going to enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching. Chris Cook for YouTube. Stay safe. Bye.